Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. I couldn't even get my vibrato off because, girl, I'm a little bit, you know, I don't know. I I slept, I went to bed like around 10.30, which is a little late for me. I slept, but I'm off, and I blame you, BuzzFeed. <laughs> I gotta blame someone. She, um, she got me watching this new show, y'all. I was gonna watch it anyway, cause I saw a preview of it. She got me watching this new show called The Outsiders, or The Outsider. And of course, it's written by your boy, Stephen King. Stephen King can write some very disturbing stuff. Girl, I almost texted you back 15 minutes into the first episode. I was triggered. I was like, what the hell she got me watching? <laughs> no, I saw the preview for it, and it's on HBO. And, um... It's good. But it's Friday. I really don't have a lot to do. I'm just maintaining stuff. I do want to slightly, and I know I'm whispering because it's early. It's 440. I get up extremely early, y'all. No later than five. A couple of weeks ago, I got up at six, though, girl. I was like, dang. <laughs> so for me personally, I have to have my, yeah, look at my skin. Yes. Glowing. Blessed. Um... <laughs> I have to have my me time. And if that means taking my butt to bed early so I can get at least seven hours of sleep, I do it. So as soon as I put JJ, JP goes to bed between eight and nine, I get myself together. Um, yeah, I can fall asleep easy because I get up so early, right? So I've trained my body to go to bed at nine o'clock. And ever since he was born, I've been waking up between four and five. That gives me one to two hours to do everything that I need to do so um avocado corn grape tomatoes cucumbers cilantro jalapenos balsamic vinegar lime salt um jalapeno did I say jalapeno and yeah I just mix everything together let it sit for a while and this is going to be my light lunch this will be, will be great on top of a salad or um, I think this would be delicious on top of salmon. Wouldn't be, this be really good on top of salmon or a great baked fish um, with some rice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that supposed to be, oh, that's supposed to be Ron, Ron Weasley? Please. A lot of this stuff looked like it, they were returns. Y'all, I am looking for a blue eye pencil something because I'm going to do a neutral makeup look with a pop of color and I want it to be blue. And I found this by Wet n Wild. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Hey, JB. Gotta keep these kids in check, girl. So, y'all, we ran a bunch of errands. Um, early today and then we're home. I'm going to show you an idea I got from a Facebook post that went viral. Her name is, um, gosh, what's her name? A mom means business. She posted this job fair for her three kids. They kept bugging her for money. So she had them to apply for jobs within the house. So <laughs> JB's seven years old. This is a great opportunity for him to learn money management. We're having a job fair today. Now hiring, look, must be under 10 to apply, on the job training, great pay, no benefits. Interviews being held this weekend, contact mama to schedule an interview. I'm gonna have him to answer interview questions. He's gonna have to dress up. I'm not gonna tell him how to dress, but I will let him know he needs to dress. Typically for a job interview, you dress pretty nicely, okay? These are the job opportunities. Laundry supervisor, dishwasher technician, and guest bathroom coordinator. <laughs> Those are the three jobs for him. I'll help him to read these because I know he's not that good at reading some of the bigger words. And then he will have to apply for one of these positions. Now, he'll get paid per task. So let's say he does the laundry one week. He gets $4 for that. And he will have the opportunity. We already have a savings account for him. And he will have the opportunity to save his own money all this stuff that he wants at school, $2 here for snow cones, $1 for dress down day, it'll be taken out of his job, out of his pay. So yeah, because right now what we're doing, let me show you guys. We use a disciplinary chart that's very similar to his school. Right now, most of the time he stays on green. So when he acts bad, I say clip down. 
then he loses privileges when it gets to orange. If he does something good, clip up. He gets rewarded when he gets up to um, pink. So this is in addition, this is not monetary. So he doesn't get meaning, he doesn't get money for this. He'll get money for his job, of course. So this has really been helping. I purchased this off of Amazon. This is the same type of disciplinary um, system that they use at his school. And he's really good at school. So it's taking a while to use this and you, I just have to be consistent with it, but it works because he freaks out if he has to clip down. So um, yeah. All right, so I told him he needs to get dressed. He needs to dress pretty nice so he doesn't know I'm gonna re be recording this stuff. Okay. You sit down next to me, darling. All right, so you want to apply for the um, laundry supervisor position, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? So, I usually like I do the dryer. I take clothes out of the dryer. Mm -hmm. But I, what I really want to do is put the is put the um the clothes into the washing machine and turn it off. Okay, so that's what you want to. So I mean, but tell me some so much about yourself. Like, um, what are your hobbies and interests? Like, what do you like to do? So that I'll make sure that you are qualified. You know, this helps me to. Determine um, about so your personality. I grew a collection of my room. Okay, you have a collection. collection. Okay, old school collection, you said? That's awesome. So, where do you see yourself? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, okay, I'm being serious, I'm sorry. Where do you see yourself in five years? Like, where do you see yourself as in a job position? Or are you in school? Yeah. You're still in school? Okay, so where do you see yourself in five years as far as growing academically? Or... Alright, why is the camera watching? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is for training purposes to be used later on. Um, so... Yeah, we're to watch it. Yeah, but it's for training purposes. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So where do you see yourself in five more years as far as academics? What does that mean? So, like, what would you like to do in the future? Like, what do you, what would you like to do when you grow up? What I problems? would like uh, bankruptcy helping because, like, we don't want people losing jobs. Oh. <laughs> so, a bankruptcy helper. Okay, bankruptcy helper. All right. So, what makes you qualified for this position? What makes you think you can be the laundry supervisor? So, like, I really like to do laundry. You like to do laundry. What type of skills do you have to make you qualified for this though? Like, are you good at organizing? Are yeah, you, I'm good at organizing. You are? Do you know because your colors? I really, yeah. Okay. And I like, I'm, I, that, that's why I really organize my collection. Okay. Good. Okay, so you organize your collection. Because like, my collection's on shelves and stuff. Okay, that's good. So you have good organizational skills. Okay, so is the pay okay for you right now? It stands at four dollars. So is that okay? That's a good pay. Okay, awesome. So thank you so much, Mr. Denza. What I will do, I will look over your application and I will contact you in the morning when you wake up <laughs> to let you know how soon can you start the position. You think? But I don't think my phone should be charging in the morning. So. Oh, I, I don't have to call you, sweetheart. I'll just go to your room. So, um, how soon can you start? Meaning, like, when do you think you can start? Can you start within the next week, the position? Or do you need a little bit longer? Do you? Because I we, we do provide training. So, how about this? Um, there's two weeks, and it does include pay. You I think get... I want to do the training. Okay, awesome. So, the training is, it is paid training, which means you get paid for the training. So, there will be two weeks of training. And I will train you twice per week. So that's $8 per week, $16 you get for the two weeks. And that'll be your first, that'll be a part of your first paycheck. Okay, sounds good. So let me look over this. I have a couple of other candidates that are coming in and I will definitely give you a call. And um, I'm excited. Thank you so much for coming in, okay? Give me a hug. Girl. I am the most organized person I know out of my friends and that's saying a lot. I think I'm a pretty organized person, but most of my friends don't have it together. <laughs> when it comes to being organized and planning, they don't have it together. My best friend is pretty good. Um, so my friend that I invited to the brunch, <clears throat> 
I invited her almost a month ago, right? And so I followed up with her on Friday. I'm like, hey, are you coming to the, yeah, my skin looks good, sorry. I followed up with her Friday. I'm like, hey, are you gonna, are you still coming to the brunch? Actually, it was Thursday. And she's like, yeah, I'm coming. I'm like, great. So then today I'm like, hey, I just wanna make sure, did you get tickets for this? She's like, no, I thought that this is like a thing that you could purchase there. I'm like, no, you cannot buy tickets at the door. You have to have had purchase tickets prior to arriving. Y'all, oh, I'm glad I told you because she would have driven a good almost 45 minutes to go down. And I'm glad I, I followed up with her. So to make sure I'm not going crazy, I clicked on the link on the event link on Facebook. And sure enough, it says the very first verbiage when you click on the about section, it says must purchase tickets prior. No, it says cannot purchase tickets at door. So I'm pretty sure they've had other people. <sighs> I should have followed up with her while when I invited her. But I thought, you know, we grown. We almost 40. Hell, she is 40. We You double grown. <laughs> it's okay. I typically go to these things by myself, y'all. I really don't have any... Out of all my friends, she's the closest friend I have out here. Um... And she's the one I made the birthday cake for her. And so, uh, in the same breath, though, she sent me a text message. And she's like, hey, you know, Jason wants to know if, if you're going to be coming out with us. Not her. Jason. Jason is her best friend. One of her best friends. Excuse me. Yeah, I told, I tell you, I was still your friend. I stole my best friend from, from a mutual friend to the point that they're not even friends anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not like that. But I'm a, I have a type of personality that attracts a lot of different people so her best friend loves me he's from Shreveport child uh, Shreveport Louisiana those you don't know it's a, it's a town in West West Louisiana yeah anyway um yeah JB stinks I'm running a bath he took a bath yesterday but I don't know what he doing but he stinks again today I'm like you need to take a bath now Get your little button. Little little kids be sick, especially little boys. They be funky for no reason. I'm gonna get, let me put a bunch of oil in here for you. Soak your little butt in here. So he needs to get a, take a bath like now. And it's early. It's like three o'clock. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, um, Wanda's friend. They when they get together, they do multiple things, girl. Like. They go out to eat, they hang out, they have brunch, they, there's a wedding going on, so. Here come JB. <laughs> you need to get your little stinky butt in the bathtub. Yeah. Little, I look at him y'all. Get that out your mouth. Look, look at JB's skin tone. He he took after me, cause his daddy red, y'all. See, <laughs> show, him, show him your tooth, tooth you're missing, baby. I know it is. Brian Little. <laughs> my hair didn't want to act right y'all so i froed her all the way out well kind of it's gonna fro out i'll just wear a fro tomorrow too uh hey it's what it is this is what i'm wearing i know y'all really can't see this baby's back here so I got here. Brian Little. <laughs> Yoga. <laughs>
It's so beautiful out here today, you guys. Absolutely. All right, you guys, I literally am all packed, even though our trip is another five days away. Baby, I am packed. Let me open up the blinds here some. I need to put this sweater dress back. These are some socks, they ain't panties. I'm gonna put this um, sweater dress back because we, look, we have been out today. This is gonna be for church tomorrow. I can't do church tomorrow because I'm exhausted already today. We've been out. We ran errands starting at 9 o'clock, running back and forth. It's 2 o'clock. Go do the math. We've been out all this time. Um, we, I, I, look, I don't check in bags. If I'm going to be somewhere for 45 days, I am not checking in any luggage. It's much of a hassle. And especially after seeing what my best friend went through last time where they lost her luggage, which, you know, they still were able to get everything to her within um, 24 hours, actually. Less than that, but... It's been a minute since I've driven to Longview by myself and things always change in freaking Dallas. Like my husband drove us. Well, we all rode together, but hell, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but now, girl, with GPS, everything is great. I'm not sure if I want to take the 20 or the 80. I know with the 20, Lord have mercy, with the 20, I-20, um, if there's an accident, you're stuck there. And my mama was saying, well, you can still take the 80 after 20. Girl, I don't want to be stuck in those backwoods. I don't know what's back there. But I remember one time a couple of years ago when I was in college and I had taken the 20 to go home. Because I always would take the 20 because it's a long scenic route, you know. And girl, one of those mobile homes flipped over. It took me four hours to get home. Now, it should only take two hours to get from, from Dallas to Longview. I was heated. I don't want that type of situation to have, happen when I have a child in a car. Because you can't go anywhere when you're stuck on the 20. You literally can't go anywhere. I'm going to pray, y'all. But anyway, I mean, yeah, like I, I got everything ready. I got my antibacterial all day. Yeah, I'm good. Like I said, we've been traveling during flu season. And I think that there's a lot of fear going around. I just, I feel like as long as you take the necessary precautions, yeah, we're going to be wearing masks. Because, yeah, but I just think that as long as you take the necessary precautions, we're not going to be wearing masks in the actual airport, but we are going to wear them on the plane. Yeah, but yeah, um, washing your hands, that's all it is. Um, but anyway, y'all, that is it for this vlog. Yeah, I'm tired. All right, y'all, take care. Bye.